Laura, là, là, je l'ai vu Un rat Oui, oui, un rat, il était à côté de vous Mais qu'est-ce que vous faites là hein Je me euh, familiarise un peu avec euh, les légumes, les produits, les... Dehors Pas de familiarité avec les légumes dans mon restaurant Ouh, Il se m'est fallu d'un cheveu. Ça va là-haut Comment est-ce que tu as fait ça Now that you've seen the whole clip, let's break down some of the most useful vocabulary and expressions. Laura, là, là, je l'ai vu Un rat Oui, oui, un rat Il y a un rat. There's a rat. When French people are speaking quickly, the phrase il y a, there is, is often shortened to il y a. So here, instead of saying il y a un rat, Chef Skinner really says il y a un rat. In fact, you can hardly even hear those two words. Getting used to this contraction will help you understand a lot of spoken French because it comes up all the time, especially in casual conversation. Laura, là, là, je l'ai vu Un rat Oui, oui, un rat, il était à côté de vous. Il était à côté de vous. À côté de means next to. For example, ma maison est à côté du parc. It's also interesting to notice here that even though Linguini is Chef Skinner's inferior in the kitchen, Chef Skinner still uses the formal pronoun vous when he addresses him because they're both adults and they're in a work setting. But later on in the scene, when Linguini is talking to Remy the rat, he uses the informal tu, and that's because they're both just friends, not coworkers. Il est à côté de vous. Mais qu'est-ce que vous faites là, hein? Mais qu'est-ce que vous faites là, hein? What are you doing here, hein? Hein is an exclamation that can mean a lot of different things depending on context, but in this case, it's used to express anger and to demand an explanation. The best English translation here is probably, hein? Mais qu'est-ce que vous faites là, hein? Je me euh, familiarise un peu avec euh, les légumes, les produits, les... Je me familiarise un peu avec les légumes. I'm familiarizing myself a bit with the vegetables. Here Linguini is using the reflexive verb se familiariser, which means to familiarize oneself with something or to learn about something. For example, je me familiarise avec mon nouvel appartement. In this context, basically what he's saying is that he's learning where the vegetables are kept. If you click on se familiariser in Fluent U, you can see even more example sentences and even listen to them out loud so that you can perfect your pronunciation. Plus, you can watch video examples to see how the phrase is used in conversation. Fluent U helps you learn French while watching authentic French movie clips, TV scenes, music videos, and more, along with interactive subtitles so you never get lost. To learn French the way it's spoken by real natives, Click the link below to start your free trial. Je me euh, familiarise un peu avec euh, les légumes, les produits, les... Dehors Pas de familiarité avec les légumes dans mon restaurant Dehors. Pas de familiarité avec les légumes dans mon restaurant. Dehors literally means outside. But when it's used as an exclamation, it means get out. We already learned that the verb se familiariser means to familiarize oneself with something. But the noun familiarité can also mean intimacy. So Chef Skinner is misinterpreting Linguini's explanation and is saying that he won't allow any intimacy with the vegetables in his restaurant. Obviously, we don't want that. So this is actually a bit of an adult joke that they've slipped in here by playing with the double meaning of familiarité. Dehors. Pas de familiarité avec les légumes dans mon restaurant Ouh, Il s'en est fallu d'un cheveu. Il s'en est fallu d'un cheveu. This is a common French idiom. Literally, it means it would have taken just a hair. You might also hear il s'en est fallu de peu. Literally, it would have taken just a bit. What the expression really means is that you came very close to something bad happening. For example, you might say il s'en est fallu d'un cheveu pour que je rate mon vol. I came within a hair of missing my flight. Once again, though, there's a clever double meaning here. At face value, Linguini is saying that Rémy almost got caught. But the reason Rémy was saved was because he managed to to grab onto Linguini's hair. So he literally came within a hair of getting caught. Il s'en est fallu d'un cheveu. Ça va là-haut? Ça va là-haut? How's it going up there? Là-haut means up there. It's a combination of the word là for there and au meaning high. And if you're worried about forgetting all this new vocabulary, don't be. We've prepared a free PDF so that you can study it all later. Click the link in the description below. Ça va là-haut?
Now that we've reviewed some of the trickier parts of the dialogue, watch the clip again and see how much more you understand. Laura, là, là, je l'ai vu. Oui, oui, un rat, il était à côté de vous. Mais qu'est-ce que vous faites là Je me familiarise un peu avec les légumes, les produits, les. Dehors. Pas de familiarité avec les légumes dans mon restaurant. Il se m'est fallu d'un cheveu. Ça va là-haut Thanks for watching, and I hope you learned a lot from this video. A bientôt!